His name was Vahialo, and the Tikapir called him Vasielo. He was a great success. He was lively. Um, he uh, spoke a dialect of Polynesian, which was very intelligible to them. He soon picked up Tikopia. He moved a great deal among the bachelors, as it were, and girls of the society. He ran my household admirably. That is, because every day almost, food would come in, presents of food, and he would see to it that presents went out again and so on. He organized the, the whole food supply in and out. And um, I found him invaluable. He'd given, been um, sent to me by Mr. J.C. Barley, who was a district commissioner, who was unique, really. He was the only district commissioner I knew who spoke a vernacular language, and he'd actually married a Polynesian from, I think, um, Luangua, whereas, of course, the custom was not to marry. Um, <coughs> and uh, I found that uh, Vahialoa was invaluable to me. Mm. So did you, through him, get more idea about the sort of sexual activities of younger people? Um, not, not, no, not really, because I had my own sources of information. <laughs> you see, I did not take a ticket to be a mistress, mm. uh, but as a bachelor, I was part, I was assigned to, as it were, mm -hmm. the group of bachelors and Fafinitaka, the, the unmarried girls. And as such, we could indulge in very free conversation, and did. Mm -hmm. So I learnt a great deal about the sex behaviour of the Tikapir uh, in evening discussions, laughing, songs and so on, uh, gossip and the like, you mm -hmm. see. And in fact, it was one of the things which I think helped, as you might say, to broaden my mind. <laughs> coming from a Methodist background, mm. one had been rather stiff about sexual matters, but I came to look on them with much greater freedom than before. Mm. Mm. Do you think it would have been dangerous to have taken a mistress in that situation? No, it would not have been dangerous, but uh, uh, it would have been inexpedient. Because? Because I would have had to uh, have a relationship with a particular family mm -hmm. which would have put me at a disadvantage vis-a-vis -vis other families. I mean, I would have been very much at their beck and call. Mm. Um, so, no, I, I, uh, I regard that as not, not on from mm. a scientific point of view. No.